All right, guys, um, so in this video, we're going to uh, do a, a quick and simple video, uh, a bit of a new concept I'm going to try and explore where we're going to look at some of the basic vocabulary and basic functionality of the tools that we need to go ahead and create some models fairly quickly. Um, what that means, though, is some of the things that I typically look for uh, when you work on your projects are um, we're not going to spend uh, much, if any, time on dimensioning. Uh, while some of the constraints should happen naturally from the program, uh, in this case Fusion 360, uh, it's not something that we're going to spend a lot of time uh, really focusing on. Um, again, it's mostly uh, the vocabulary, how to use the tools, um, maybe some thoughts about uh, perspective and scale. So in this video, we're going to use uh, Fusion 360, but we're going to use a uh, sweep command that's uh, fairly common among all of the programs that you might be using. Um, at least uh, Inventor and Onshape have some similar capabilities. And uh, basically we're going to go ahead and create a quick and simple model. So to do this, uh, I'm going to leave the video up and uh, hopefully explain all of the big ideas. Uh, we're going to go ahead and create a new design. And for a sweep command, we need two sketches, uh, two different parts of this. So the first one is going to be the top view, it's going to be the general layout, and within Fusion 360 we're going to use the line tool that is actually capable of making both lines and arcs. Uh, so we don't need to switch between different drawing tools in this case. So starting at the origin point, uh, good practice that we try and stick to, uh, go ahead and draw a line straight up vertically, and then if I click and drag we'll notice that it switched over into the arc command. So going ahead and just getting a rough scale, draw another straight line for the, where the second arc is going to be. Let's see, roughly placing this so it's about two units away from the line before it. A little bit of lag on the computer. Um, so again, even though we're not really doing too much in terms of scale, we're um, dimensioning. We're trying to keep some truthful scale involved in here. So with the general layout set up, we can finish this sketch and then we can go ahead and create a second sketch. So in this case, we need it to be perpendicular to the, uh, the path line that we just drew. So I'm going to switch over to the home view, select the only plane that's available, zoom in a little bit, and then also at the origin point, I'm going to draw a circle. And in this case, because I left a gap of two units, I'm going to make this uh, have a radius of one unit, um, roughly scaled. So finishing the sketch, going back to the home view, and then shift this over a little bit. To use the sweep command, it's not one of the default ones that we see in um, the, uh, the ribbon, but under the create dropdown menu, SWEP is one of the commands. And in selecting it, we go ahead and uh, select the profile, the um, cross-sectional view of the wire that's going to make up the, uh, the paper clip, in this case, plain circle. And then we select a path, the line that we drew that's the general outline of paper clip. So with that done, that goes ahead and creates the general layout of a paperclip. So swept command is good for a lot of cases where we need to use wire. Um, and uh, yeah, it can be effective in a lot of different applications, especially when you need to start creating kind of three-dimensional wires. There's some other tools that are uh, definitely useful for that. Uh, we'll look at uh, coils uh, later on. But uh, hopefully this is good enough to get you started in terms of using some of the more of the uh, advanced commands within Fusion 360. So hope this helps, and uh, thanks for watching.